Hey guys, want to see something cool? While I'm picking cherries to can today, I come across this. A massive bunch of bees. If I had an empty hive, I would start my own apiary. Hi guys, Mike here. Today I'm going to show you how I can cherries off of our tree. I'll keep it as short as possible. I know people's attention span is not very long. The average views on my videos are about 2 minutes 38 seconds. So stick with me and we'll get started. For our syrup, we'll start with six cups water and two cups cane sugar. Put that on the stove, heat it up until the sugar dissolves. You don't want it to come to a boil necessarily. For this video, we'll only be doing four quarts. I've already done 28. So we'll use this. You want to try to keep your, your tops of your jars as clean as you can. Okay, we have all four jars full. You wanna make sure that you give a good inch head space. I will wait for my syrup to get ready and then I will fill those. Okay, this is the syrup. You can tell the sugar is dissolved. It's nice and clear. I will get ready or I will start filling my jars. I like using a funnel like this. It's easier for me to see how much liquid is going in. Now I'll wipe the rims with a cloth, actually a paper towel, with distilled white vinegar. <clears throat> you don't want any, anything fouling your sill. And I will now add some to the water that we will be processing these in. Because I have hard water, and if I don't, the jars come out looking really uh, cruddy. They got white buildup on them and stuff you can like see that. The, Lids have been warmed up. You don't want to boil those. There's no need. You just need to soften the rubber on them. Put your lids on top. Put your ring on. Finger tight. And you're good to go. I'll finish these All up. Right, we got them in the water bath canner. It's about an inch of water covering each one. We'll bring this to a boil. Make sure that it's boiling before you start your timer and let it go for 25 minutes and then shut off your heat and then we'll remove them set them on a towel you don't want to set them on a cold surface be real easy to break your jars that way getting close and as you can see i have a trivet if you can see through the fog steam i have a trivet in the bottom so they're not sitting directly on the bottom okay we're at a full boil so we will set the timer for 25 minutes, put the lid back on, and let them go. Okay, I'm going to grab your jar with these, they're nice and hot. Okay guys, I got it set out. I got them set out on a towel. Got a little space in between them. Make it easier for them to cool off. We'll let them sit here until the lid seat. They'll pop down. If they don't pop down, it doesn't mean that the food isn't good. It just means that you should eat it within a day or two. Okay, the tops have seated. You can see they're sealed. The only thing left to do is date them and add them into the rotation. 